fucking updates. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Johnny. I'm Elliot. And I'm the victim. <laughs> Not yet. We don't know that one. We're all a bit rusty in this game, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, for this edition of SmackDown Sunday for this week, ladies and gentlemen, we have the sequel to Marvel vs. Capcom, and personally one of my favorite fighting games of all time, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. And we're playing it on the PlayStation Network release that I am absolutely grateful for, because before the Xbox Live and PlayStation Network release came out, the only way you can play this game is by either getting the Dreamcast version, which costs $35, the PlayStation 2 version, which usually goes for $90, or the Xbox version, which goes for $120. Wow. Wow. So, now we have an online version that's going to cost you no less than $15, and news to say, I'm a bit rusty with this. We, we, we all are. I haven't played this since the time I played on a Dreamcast but 12 between, years ago. The, between the years of 2000 and 2005, this was THE fighting game I played the fuck out of. And before that, it was x vs. Street Fighter. But enough about that, we'll get to that eventually. When you bought it, all the characters were unlocked, right? Yeah, when you buy it, all the characters are unlocked. You don't have to unlock all the characters. Even all their alternate costumes are unlocked. Hence the golden borders around the pictures. Um, What's the difference between the three? What do you mean? What's anti-air projectile and uh, These are assist types. You okay. know when you call your characters for assist with the right. buttons? What you choose it depends on what they do. So like for Morgan, for example, if, if I choose use projectile, projectile type, type, she'll intercept with a projectile. Yeah, with Soul Feast. Uh, yeah, Ken's anti-air, so you'll probably do it. That's probably a short you gun. And for my fun, I can choose something on the Marvel side. Hey, Juggernaut. Huh. Bitch. Oh, Marvel's Capcom 2. You want a really frantic, fast-paced action, you play this game. Oh, yeah. If you want What's a button your, mash, you play this game. What's your history with the, uh, with this game, Matt? Have Non-existent. You, uh... Played it once when you, played it once when I was over your house years ago, and that was it. Has it been years? Yeah. I've played this game since I was a teenager, so needless to say, I am going to get hurt. Uh, hold on, I'm just trying to get... Uh, I'm not sure if it's coming back to me or not. I try to switch. Uh, you can switch by hitting square and X at the same time, or it's a triangle and circle. I missed. <laughs> I fucking missed. Um, I actually played this since you got on the PS2, John. You missed. Well, the first version I ever owned was the Dreamcast version. I, I, think, I don't I believe remember I... what happened to that version, perfectly honest. Nice! Good, Elliot. Who's Venom? I am. Nice, Elliot. Oh, the Juggernaut, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Juggernaut was one of my favorite characters in X-Men Street Fighter. He's one of my favorite characters in general. I just, I've always been better with the slower, powerful characters. So you've been, you're always good with the tank? Pretty much. Oh! Shit! Smack your dumbass, bitch! <laughs> Gonna beat you in the head, Good blow your fucking brains out. Need. Welcome, Strider. <laughs> Ow, you bitch. Like um, I believe like the first like f one of the first fighting games I played that's like in this style was um X Men vs Street Fighter. Yes, great game. Love that game. So how many people do you think are gonna call Scrubs with this video? Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. Eight slices of bitcheroni. You dick. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just very Japan of Japan. <laughs> What's your opinion on that? <laughs> like, um... Yeah, I played this on the PS2 and I believe the Dreamcast. Uh, yeah, you probably grew up with the PS... Because uh, I actually did own the PS2 version that's, for a while. Is that Psylocke when she did things aside from being Asian and showed her ass? Uh, yes. Wow. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> who remembers, um, Marvel Super Heroes? I do. We used to own that too. Good the game. PlayStation version. Yeah, uh, we but, had the PlayStation uh, version. That was a good game, though. No, but like Dan and Bicky. Before this game, it was excellent for the Street Fighter, which I played the ever living hell out of the arcade back when our uh, Uncle David yeah. used to own an arcade down the street, and uh, the amount of times I spent on that game. <laughs> was, well, I'll explain more of that when we actually play excellent for the Street Fighter, which now, when we eventually do, it'll be on the Saturn. So. <laughs> now to see how the hell I actually supposed to handle this game. Hayato from Star Gladiator, which I've barely played. Alright, one, two, three, four. Okay, so basically regular... Uh, Alright, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> so, you so you're still ready, Matt? Why not? <laughs> You'll get the hang of it, Matt. One thing that, like, that, like, um... <laughs> that, like, um... Marvel vs. Cat Fuck, I hear that weak shit. <laughs> One thing that I liked that Marvel vs. Capcom 3 was that like um it kept the um 
themed stages, like, they were like, um... Oh, wait, they're heavy? Oh, wait, shit. They were like other settings from like... Okay, um, light punch, light kick, heavy punch, heavy kick, okay. Like, they were other settings from from Marvel or Capcom games? Yeah. This one is just... This one is generic, yeah. any location sort of stage with. You know, people are okay with for the most part, but I am glad Marvel vs. Capcom 3 decided to bring back character-specific stages and yeah. themes. Because there's no character-specific <laughs> themes in this game either. Though I do like the jazzy soundtrack, to be honest. It's it's nice. It's easy on the ears. And yeah, I'm a little rusty with Felicia, so... When will we get? When do we get? When do we get Darkstalkers? Darkstalkers? Yeah, I have it. No. I need that leap rage shit. The what? Oh, nope. you're talking about aerial raves. Yeah. Or air combos, depending on what region you live in, I guess. <laughs> Wait. Oh, Matt, that was your fault, man. Ooh, tech hit. This doesn't look good for Matt, man. It doesn't look good for me either. Why can't I do anything? Well, John, you kind of have a chance right now. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to do that earlier, but it wouldn't let me. I still wonder why it, why a Marvel and Capcom. Why Marvel? Why Capcom? not? I don't know, really. I mean, really, you would expect Street Fighter versus Mortal Kombat. Well, that'd be the first thing that comes to mind, yeah. But well, as of today, it still hasn't happened. And I don't think it ever will. No, I don't think so. I mean, we got Street Fighter. Then again, we got MK versus DC, so. Yeah, but that was Midway's last game. What do you think of that? <laughs> How about that kitty litter? Everyone loves multicolored kitty litter. Different different colors block different odors. Hm. Shit. Why'd you block it? <laughs> I mean, like, there's only, like, um, I believe three characters in here that are from Darkstalkers? Um, Darn it! we have Morgan, Felicia, You drowned me out. <laughs> there was the mummy. There's, uh, oh, um, what's his name? Start with the letter P. I forgot. Pharaoh. No, Pharaoh. <laughs> <laughs> here. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, not the Anarchist, sorry. Yeah, there's, like, uh, three, there's, yeah, there's three characters from Darkstalkers. The Ghost Girl is not in this game, though. That's not until Marvel vs. Capcom. Hey, hey, is that Charlie Nash over there? <laughs> Charlie? Left of Akuma. Charlie. Charlie. Yeah, Charlie. Uh, you got Cap. You, you got Cap? I like Captain America. Never watched the movie still. You thought you should. Uh, it was better than I thought it was going to be, perfectly honest. Hmm. I'm actually looking forward to watching the sequel. But I've still you have yet to watch. Captain America goes to Europe. <laughs> <laughs> there is a Captain Britain. Hmm. He, goes, he goes to the Vietnam War. Got it. The only thing but I he's was, already in the future. <laughs> the only thing I remember about Captain Britain is I like, Eddie guys ass beat by Juggernaut. Oh. Ouch. That's how you play it. We're in the Avengers, man. <laughs> They're fighting for first place. <laughs> <laughs> the fight for favoritism. Fight for sales. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Cyclops, you're in the middle of my final justice. And thus, the Avengers vs. X Men comic book series began. Or it's cancelled. <laughs> nice. Oh, that would have been nice. Why are you of course, so Johnny was a American. <laughs> we're not anti American, we're just, we just don't like you. <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> And Jill, seeing her in 2D, it's weird. Ain't it? Yeah, this is actually the first time she's ever made a fighting game to be, I believe. Hey. One of her supers is the nemesis, isn't it? Say what? One of her supers is either when she summons, ne summons nemesis or uses uh, the rock tyrant. 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 Tyrant, sorry. Ow. Oh, rogue. Hey. You can't steal power from me. I can, if I wanted to. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, guns! <laughs> I don't know how to do any of that shit you guys do. Oh, shit. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> oh, wait. Actually, Marvel's Capcom 2 was the first to introduce a more uh, simplified button scheme. Uh -huh. Like, there's no heavy in this game. That's what I thought there was. Ah, oh, come on, man. You guys just Ow. mashing everything, aren't we? No, 
I'm actually trying to do more my fucking air combos. Ow! Thing is, though, um... What was Psylocke's power? I never... I never... Yeah, I, I never knew Psylocke's. Oh, big fucking deal. <laughs> Final justice. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, yeah. Ow! The American way. <laughs> and then Jill became a blonde and wore a spandex outfit. <laughs> Apparently, Captain America is the tr is the true American hero. You mean it's not GI Joe? Nope. What a damn shame. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, you can fast forward to when after this fight because you know how long it is. <laughs> All right, so Matt got Charlie. John has Doctor Doom. Oh, a mango. I want to take you for a ride, man. <laughs> okay, um, John also has Spider-Man. And Akuma for John. Ugh. It's gonna be a tight one. Like my ass. Your ass is a type one? It's the second time you mentioned that within the month. <laughs> <laughs> and, okay, so Matt also has Charlie, Zangief, and Colossus. Wasn't Juggernaut at one point an X-Man? It was always an X Men. No, 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 no. He means like in the. Oh, actual, you mean like, a, like on the side of justice? On the or side something? of justice. What, wasn't he temporarily? I believe. He's related to Xavier, I believe. He is. Like and like um Colossus um went to the Brotherhood, didn't he? Ooh, nice. Oh, shit. I would say this is a mango stage, but. What goes desert and cactus? I don't want. I don't want to sound racist. Bullet. Against Cactus? You could be racist against Cacti? It's possible. Hey, whatever, I'm racist against Deku. <laughs> well, not a lot of people like Deku. Ooh. Oh, damn it. Let's swing my ass. Spider Man wants to feed him to the vultures. <laughs> it's kind of dark, ain't it? Damn! <laughs> At least prepare for that. <laughs> oh, looks like Colossus is about to do. No, he switched. We got Charlie, and now Zangief. For many years, he's been putting people's heads between thighs. Oh, that would have been nice. Yeah, for him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, bitch. <laughs> Please. Ooh, this is a close one. I don't know. Is Charlie related to Guile? Charlie is, uh... Their bus His mentor. Yeah. Ah. Oh, man, you jumped into that. And that? Damn. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Fuck your couch. You actually see, like, beyond beyond the um, stage. Shit. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 20 seconds. There's time on it? Yeah. I didn't know that. Oh, oh I remember that shit from what's his name? Oh, no. And John won with 15 seconds to spare. I did better that time just smashing buttons. <laughs> what do you think? Apparently they each have different kind of support types depending on who you are. Yeah. Team Cap. <laughs> All right, Jill, Mega Man, Guile versus Hulk, Wolverine, Long, Long Claw, No Wolverine, and Felicia. Hey, I need that. <laughs> was that the gun? It was a small key. <laughs> uh, well, you're the master of unlocking. So. Yeah, you don't need that. That's uh, Jill that uh, Crystal does. 
Yeah. I always break into that damn dash, and I can't follow up because of that shit. Oh, shit. Oh, I forgot it's a fighting game. Nice. What's with that color scheme? I don't know. Just just <laughs> Capcom. Way expect. <laughs> hi, Eddie. Oh, hi, Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. I'm sorry, what? Tornado hold. I don't, I don't speak I don't speak Japanese. I was pretty much American as you can get, dude. <laughs> Guile is pretty much American as you can get. Next to Charlie Nash himself. What was that? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Darn it! No I never could. I never connect with that. Ow! Double flush. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> nice. Too bad I did nothing. I took a big what? chunk. Took a big chunk out of Jill. That should be how the Mega Man Classic Series ends. I'm going full Sentai like that. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> right in the face. <laughs> Boom Typhoon! <laughs> no, get away. <laughs> Guile, have you danced with the Wolverine in the pale moonlight? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> stop! Did better that time. Fucking stop! <laughs> Twenty one minutes. Twenty minutes. Then we shall let Elliot and Matt go. So Johnny's from oh, we get the of danger room. It knows it's me and Matt, so we're in the danger room. In danger of what? Failure. <laughs> What's pretty... uh? What type of experience do you have with um NBC three, Matt? Any? Played it for a while, got bored, took it back. <laughs> well, we have a uh, we have Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, uh, so we'll be sure to show off that version one day uh, for SmackDown Sunday. All right, so I got War Machine, BB Hood, and Venom. Matt has ADHD because he can't figure out who he wants to really pick and get his ass beat with. So uh, that's not really ADHD. Yeah, it kind of is. Uh, he picked uh, Charlie. Uh, attention deficit high definition. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> so Matt has Jill, Charlie, and Silver Samurai. Or Silver Sandwich. <laughs> so what? <laughs> what? You guys never watched Avatar? No, no I haven't. Come on. The Last Airbender or the movie? Airbender. <laughs> Alright, so who's on whose side? So I know what names to put there. I'm War Machine, I'm War Machine. Charlie. Oh, uh, BB Hood, Elliot. Yeah. Uh, she's Dark Stalkers, too. See, that would have been nice if it actually got you, Matt. Between the two characters, actually, I actually have first Spider Man over Venom. Why is that? Uh, Spider Man's a little more agile, even though Venom does pack a wallop. But then again, a lot of characters are pretty agile in this game. Maybe the exception of Hulk and, uh, not Sentinel. Yeah, but uh, I, I really don't get much practice. What's considered like some really broken characters in this game? Well, by broken, I mean horribly unbalanced. But it was like Magneto, Sentinel, Ow! Storm, and Cable. I believe were considered game breakers. In a sense, it, it, it's all a matter of whether or not you know how to use them or not. Yeah. That's that shit. I don't know how to do. Um, just a uh, uh, half circle forward, square and triangle. It it depends on the character, to be honest, though. Sometimes it could be half circle forward, sometimes it could be quarter circle back. And if square and triangle don't work, you can hit X and O. <laughs> <laughs> you 
You did. You did jump into that, Matt. I did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go lie down now. <laughs> Why do we get the danger room? Well, it's actually... Well, is it? <laughs> yeah, this is. This is the room you play in when you're doing training mode. Yeah. But, uh... <laughs> Try as Charlie may, he could not. It blocked missiles. <laughs> yeah, he cannot avoid death. The only time I win is against Matt. <laughs> Uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, no, it's John and Matt now. Oh wait, no, never mind. Twenty four minutes. Yeah, we're we're pretty much over. To yeah, that. okay. Okay, guys, out there this week for this Magician of SmackDown Sunday. Next up is Elliot's pick. Bloody Roar. No, 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 no. Because at this point, I believe. Oh, yeah, that's right. Bloody Roar is over here next. So. Yeah. All right, Bloody Roar. Hey. Then after that, uh, Matt. Double Dash. Double. Flower Cup. Uh, yeah. Okay. Right, so we'll see you then. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>